Whoa, did you know that British scientists have cloned a dinosaur? No way, that's really cool. Did you know NASA says that the world's gonna go dark for six whole days? No, you're kidding, right? Beyonce's dead. <gasps> and Justin Bieber. <gasps> and Molly Cyrus. <laughs> Okay, you might think these stories sound a little too crazy to be true, and you'd be right. But all over the internet, they've been posted as real news, and there are heaps, heaps more where they came from. A lot of fake news stories are created just as a joke or because people are really, really bored. But some are posted to deliberately trick us. They do that for two main reasons. The first is to get you to click on their site so they can make money from advertising or even from scams. The second is to make you think differently about something or someone, and that can be a big problem. I've read this article that says if you eat a chocolate bar every day, you'll actually lose weight. Yeah, bigger problems than that. During the US presidential election, a lot of fake news stories were mixed in with real ones, and some experts are worried that could have had an influence on how some Americans voted. For example, did you hear that the Pope supports Donald Trump? Or was it Hillary Clinton? Did you see this meme saying Trump called the Republican Party dumb in the 1990s? Or that Clinton accidentally sold weapons to extremist group Islamic State? And there's the one about 15,000 people voting for the late Gorilla Harambe. Rest his soul. Yeah, none of that happened. But those stories were all shared millions of times on social media. Some stats even show that near the end of the election, fake news was shared more often than real news. That's got a lot of experts and even the current US president worried. Particularly in an age of social media where so many people are getting uh, their information in sound bites and snippets off their phones. Uh, if we can't discriminate between serious arguments and propaganda, then we have problems. Some online companies and social media sites are now attempting to sort the fake news from the real stuff. Facebook says it'll make it easier for people to report dodgy stories when they see them. And it's thinking about posting warnings alongside fake reports. While both Google and Facebook are trying to stop fake news sites from being able to make money through ads. We can work to give people a voice, but we also need to do our part to stop the spread of hate and violence and misinformation. But experts say it's also up to readers to stay switched on. So if you think a story sounds a bit sus, here are some things you can do. Don't just read the headline. Check which news organisations have posted the story to see if they're reliable and well known. Know that it's not a normal news story if it says it's satirical, which means it's a joke, sponsored by a business, or written as someone's opinion. And above all, remember to always question what you read and what you're told. Oh hey guys, did you hear Kanye West is running for president and he called himself a god? Seriously? Oh no, no stop lying! No. Oh, okay, yeah, that one's real. No one's gonna vote for him. <laughs>